What's the likelihood of having to undergo more surgery in the future? Bearing in mind, I'm only 22 and I haven't had children yet. There is a high likelihood of you having to go for, under further surgery uh, if you are having implants age 22 um, and you haven't had any children. And um, yeah, high likelihood is the answer. So I would say you should plan to have another, at least another surgery, maybe two, maybe three, maybe more. And that is the problem with breast implants. We're doing loads of things. We're trying to, well, we're not doing loads of things, but you know, always looking for ways of doing alternatives. Fat grafting is a great alternative because it's natural and you don't need any further surgery and what have you. But it's really subtle results, I find. So, um, so fat grafting is not quite there yet because obviously, if you're worried about having further surgery, fat grafting would be brilliant. Take some fat out somewhere and put it in your breast, and you know that's it for you for life. But um, it is not quite there yet and um that background is not good is it you got all my boxes and um so at the end of the day all, what we've got is implants and the chances are you probably will need further surgery if you've got implants in the reasons you might need further surgery is if your implants uh, rupture obviously um but that is less likely than you would think to be honest with you i think a lot of people worry about them rupturing because these days they're made of cohesive gel or their form stable. So even if the shell fails, they keep their shape. So actually rupture is less of a problem because it can rupture. It's got silent rupture. You don't even know it's ruptured um, because it doesn't affect the shape of the breast or what have you. Um, so uh, rupture is less of a problem. Probably the biggest problem, I guess, is capsular contracture. Um, the other problems you get is rippling and um, infection, but infection will only be early on. Uh, particularly if your weight changes, your breasts can change. If you've lost a lot of weight, you might get rippling of the implants. But I guess the big one is capsular contracture, hardening of the implant. I normally say it takes about five or ten years for that to happen. And if that happens, you might want to have the change and change. Now, I've got to say, a woman who had their first implants in 55 years ago, or whenever it was, um, has still got them in. So you don't have to have the implants changed. They're probably really hard, but you don't have to have them changed. But for people thinking, especially you, you're 22 years old, you're thinking of having surgery, I would say in five or ten years, they might start to go hard and you might want to have them changed. As I say, you don't have to have them changed, but you might want to have them changed. The problem with changing them is once you change them, that's a bigger operation than the first operation. It's more expensive than the first operation, and it creates more scarring because you kind of cut out all the old scar tissue around the implant and put new implants in. And so another capsule, another scar tissue form have the second lot of implants quicker than it did the first. So you want to leave it as long as you possibly can before considering having your implants changed. Um, so, so um, that is probably the thing. But you were, you know, if you're 22, you're probably going to need more, more implants. So then you can think about things, and then you have to talk about the risks of implants and the and the complications with implants, um, because um, you got the polyurethane implants, which are much less likely to go hard. Is that better? I better look. How's that look? Um, and you've got uh, textured implants, which are less likely to go hard than smooth implants. But then you've got your ALCL, which is a type of cancer associated with implants. Um, and there's no cases of ALCL with smooth implants, but the risk of capsular contracture is higher. So, um, oh man, it's a nightmare. So, yeah, there's a lot to consider, really. If you're 22 and you think of having implants, there is a lot to consider. I wouldn't take it on lightly. Um, lightly. So yeah, a lot to think about. Yeah, something to think about there. Does this look ridiculous? The mic down here. Um, getting all set up.